Uh, Asia, what a special moment of you uh, signing autographs of your book here at the house. I mean, there's thousands of people coming to see you every night here in Las Vegas to make history today. Yeah. How special is this win? Man, it means it means a lot. It, it's very special and definitely is going to be one for the books for me, only because, um, you know, this this city welcomed me uh, in 2018 and a new franchise, new, new everything. And they took a chance on a kid. Bill Lambier took a chance on me and was like, hey, this is you. This is you. This is your team. Do what you want to do with it. <laughs> and he stuck by me through and through every single time, every year. Bill was like just constantly in my ear. And I have to give him a lot of credit because he instilled that in me to accumulate this this culture that we wanted. And then when you have someone like Becky come in, that's like, OK, well, I'm about to add some razzle dazzle to the culture. Um, it makes it a full circle moment for me. So uh, I never would have thought I would even be uh, I would, obviously it would be in some points. Uh, but to lead, no, absolutely not, because I'm just I'm grateful to be here, so I don't really pay a lot of attention to it. But to win it on the home, to win it on the home court, to get it at at home in front of fans that literally watch us when we didn't make postseason, to watch us win one, to watch us win another, and now compete for another, uh, it's truly special. And this is a moment that I'm definitely gonna keep in. Hey, my parents are here, and they're like texting me like, "Oh my God, we would have been there. We knew, but we didn't know." And I love those because it's it's very genuine. So I'm very grateful to be a part of this franchise and just to continue to grow it and just live. It's good here. I, I really like it here. <laughs> Asia, congratulations on today. Yeah. Becky Hammond, of course, just said that you are the best player to ever wear the Aces jersey. Um, we were just kind of talking about all the alum here. I mean, what does that mean? to hear her say that, and especially to do it in front of all the, the women who have built this program up to where it is now. Man, that, that means a lot. It really does. But then I, I have to always give it to the ones that laid the foundation down before me, the ones that grinded it out, the ones that had to do extra just to get seen a little bit to now we're playing on national television and charter flights and everything else. So, I mean, it, it's, it's a huge deal for me and it's something I don't take for granted, but I'm never going to lose sight of the women that literally had to like teeth and claw and crawl their way up to just for just to get a foot in the door as black women as women in general just get a foot in the door to now that i can sit here and say no we're we're continuing to pay thank you for passing that torch we're gonna keep passing it we're gonna keep planting seeds for the next generation because it doesn't stop here i, I don't i don't want uh, the next generation to come in and it's dying down like no this is a culture that we built here so it's truly special to just see them courtside and, and let them see what they've done uh, it took a lot of hard work so i'm grateful for that Okay, so that's sort of a good stepping off point to my question. I think you somewhat answered it, but have you ever taken the time? Because you always say, since alumni uh, game started, I have to start, you know, the foundation of play. Yeah. Have you actually taken a chance to step back and think there was a culture in Utah, there was a culture in San Antonio. You have actually started a whole new era. Yeah from Las Vegas, the culture that's been built with the players that have been brought in. You think about the, the, the rotating players. We can talk about players that are coming on. Yeah. But it's a whole new culture that started with you. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That yeah. kind of goes back to the first part of just like a young girl that just literally from South Carolina didn't know anything about the West Coast comes out here and kind of shifts things. And it's so special. And I'm so grateful to have like KP uh, that was before me to now. Uh, to do, then we get Jack and then we get different pieces. And when we're talking about culture and bringing people in, I'm so happy that we have a ownership and a coaching staff that's willing to bring me in too and be like, what are your thoughts? And that is what I take a lot of pride in because I'm like, they trust me to guide our locker room to the promised land. And obviously it takes a lot and, and we get hit with a lot of different things, but when I can just step out in front and be that person to take that hit, it it, it kind of makes me feel great because I'm like, it's, it's bigger than me. It really is bigger than me. But to say that we started a culture in the area in Las Vegas uh, and it started with a young draft pick of a girl from South Carolina, uh, something that never gets old. So I just try to do my best to just continue to make Vegas my second home and just kind of, God, I already got a license, plate. not the license plate, I got a South Carolina license tag, but I do have my actual license. So I feel like I'm a Nevadian slowly, but surely, but I'm, I'm very grateful about just the city accepting our culture and building with us. Um, Becky was talking about how just difficult you will be to guard if you continue shooting threes the yeah. way that you are right now. You were three for three at one point, I mean, you ended three for four, but yeah. 
kind of what was going through your mind when you hit that third one? You're like, I'm literally perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, I honestly didn't even think about it. I mean, I just shoot the ball a lot. Good Lord, I see 22 times. Uh, but it really wasn't a thought in my mind. It was just like one of those things where I'm like, I've worked on it. I've prepped for this. And now it's time for me to knock it down.